I think the dreary weather outside has kind of set the mood. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Matt Harris. It's M-A-T-T-H-A-R-R-I-S. I'm the Public Relations Officer for the Columbus Police Department. Up here with me today is Dr. John Quick, who in, uh, in just a moment will be reading a statement that the family of Jacqueline Watts has provided him. After Dr. Quick is finished, we'll make a few statements. I have some slides that I'd like to go over with you. And then once we're finished, take a few um, questions that you might have. So at this time, we'll have Dr. Quick read a short statement from the family. We would first like to express our deepest gratitude to the public safety agencies that work tirelessly to find Jackie. Your professionalism and sincere regard for our family will never be forgotten. We continue to be overwhelmed with the outpouring of love and support from family, friends, and members of the community. We are deeply moved that so many of you shared in the effort to help our Jackie. We would like to take this opportunity to tell you about the wonderful woman she was. In the days following Jacqueline's passing, we have learned of many kind acts honoring her memory. It has lifted up our hearts to see that Jackie was touched so many lives. Jackie's compassion for others was evident throughout her life. From her work as a teaching assistant in Indianapolis Public Schools, as events coordinators for the Big Brothers Big Sisters of Indianapolis, and through her vocation as an esthetician, Jackie saw beauty and value in everyone. She was an inspiration to those that knew her. Always placing others before herself, she lived and loved with great humility. At a young age, Jackie developed a love for animals. To say that this was Jackie's passion would be an understatement. Jackie volunteered with the Kentuckiana Boxer Rescue and the Indiana Claw Animal Rescue, where she was a member of the board of directors. She also fostered multiple dogs and rabbits. She cared deeply about the well-being of animals. If she believed she could help an animal in need, she was going to do so without hesitation. We know that Jackie gave her life for what she believed in. As her family, we are eternally grateful for the time that we had with Jackie. During this difficult time, we find solace in the stories of Jackie's impact on those that she knew, especially the memories that we have of Jackie as a wife, daughter, and sister. We will continue to celebrate her life through the memories, memories that she has left in our lives. Oh, that we would all be filled with enough passion to give our lives for what we believe in. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Quick. We understand that the uh, investigation into Jackie's death has garnered interest not only across the state of Indiana, but across the, uh, the country. And our investigators have been working around the clock since Friday afternoon. As we put the case together, there are still questions that we are working to answer. While we're not able to release every detail of the investigation to the public, as we said earlier, foul play is not suspected at this time. We have received an outpouring of support from the community who wish to assist uh, with the search for Jackie. Over the past three days, we have received offers of personal resources, such as all-terrain vehicles, boats, and even a bloodhound to assist with searching for Jackie. And we also had a number of volunteer firefighters as well as persons from the community that wished to come and, and assist us. Uh, we would like to thank St. Vincent Stat Flight Helicopters and also the Kentucky State Police with their assistance in the search for Jackie Friday night into Saturday morning. Um, as I said earlier, an investigation of this magnitude is like a large puzzle. Over the past three days, our detectives have been able to put together many of the pieces. Obviously, their work is not finished. However, we are confident that we'll continue to find answers to the questions being asked. Um, we're going to go through a slideshow here. Give me just a second. 
One of the things that was repeatedly asked was access to the area where around Jackie's vehicle was located. Um, since obviously we had a large scene that we had taped off, this was not possible. So I wanted to provide you with uh, some pictures here showing the area in the 2300 block of Riverside Drive where Jackie's vehicle was located. And um, there's a second view of that. Here in just a moment um, will be a picture at night showing uh, Jackie's white passenger car uh, as it was found by officers. There it is right there. As you can see, the vehicle is still running. One of the big questions that was asked to us was in regards to certain specifics in the case, one of which um, everyone was curious about personal effects that might have been in the vehicle. And we can confirm that Jackie's keys, cell phone, um, and purse were located inside the vehicle and that the passenger door was partially open. However, there were no signs of a struggle that occurred in or around the vehicle. And there is another picture of Riverside Drive that was taped off. I'd like to go in next to a timeline of events. Uh, this is a partial timeline of, of what occurred. On Friday at 1.30 p.m. is our understanding that Jackie dropped off two dogs and a rabbit at two separate residences here in the city of Columbus. At 1.54 p.m., Jackie was seen on a home security camera leaving one of these residences and heading towards Washington Street. At 2 p.m., and this tip was reported to us later that night, a witness observed a woman matching Jackie's description chasing a small dog in the area of 23rd Street and Washington Street. Between 2.15 and 3 p.m. on Friday, two separate witnesses observed an abandoned vehicle on Riverside Drive. At 4.51 p.m., our officers responded to a report of a suspicious vehicle and locate a white passenger car on Riverside Drive, later determined to be Jackie's vehicle. Five minutes after that, at 4.56 p.m., our officers respond to a report of a missing person, and this is Jackie's family reporting her missing. Later that evening, a witness reports that they observed a female matching Jackie's description next to Flat Rock River, attempting to catch a small white dog wearing a sweater. This tip was reported to us sometime, and I don't have the exact time, but on the afternoon of Friday, March 3rd. As we spoke of earlier, a huge search party was conducted. We had officers from the Columbus Police Department, the Sheriff's Office, Indiana Department of Natural Resources, utilizing not only a foot search, but uh, using a, a boat. We had uh, multiple aircrafts and helicopters that um, was searching the area for Jackie along with uh, police canines. Um, we were unsuccessful in locating Jackie overnight, so the following morning we held a briefing at 7 a.m. and then a ground search commenced at 7.45. At approximately 8.01 a.m., we located the body of, of Jackie Watts on a sandbar there on the Flat Rock River. At later that night, we received a tip about a missing dog. Uh, it was a social media post, a dog by the name of Ringo wearing a, um, a sweater. It was described as a small white dog. And this is a snapshot of the social media post that was put out on Facebook. On Sunday, March 5th, our officers continued to search the Flat Rock River due to the water receding. 
And between Friday and Sunday, it's our understanding that the water level dropped almost one foot. At 2.11 p.m., we received information that a dog matching Ringo's description, which is later confirmed by Ringo's owners, is located south of Noblet Park on the east bank of the Flat Rock River. At 3.20 p.m., our investigators again speak with this witness who describes seeing a woman matching Jackie's description chasing a small white dog next to the river. The witness then in greater detail told the detective that the dog was wearing a sweater and confirmed that it was the same dog in the social media post after being shown the picture. The witness also reported to detectives that they last observed Jackie chasing after the dog running south next to the river towards the low head dam. And if anyone is familiar with that area, there is a low head dam just south of, of um, the area we're speaking of. And I'll show you a map real quick with a couple points that we want to highlight. This red dot right here is where Jackie's vehicle was located, the 2300 block of Riverside Drive. The green dot here represents the person who initially saw Jackie chasing after a small white dog. In fact, the caller commented that they had to, they were driving and had to hit the brakes in an effort to avoid hitting Jackie and, and the animal. This area right here highlighted in green represents where the second witness reports seeing Jackie chasing a small white dog wearing a sweater running south along the riverside. This area right here is where the low head dam is at on the Flat Rock River. The red dot here represents where Jackie's body was located in this general area on a sandbar. Now mind you, this Google image is a couple years old and the actual shape of the river has changed a little bit during that time. But in this red area here, that's highlighted is where her body was located. And then lastly, this red dot here, further south, close to Indianapolis Road on the east bank of the river is where Ringo's body, the canine, was located. As I said earlier, we do not suspect foul play in this incident. A um, autopsy is scheduled for later on this afternoon. We hope to have additional information at, at that time. Um, as I said earlier, there were no signs of a struggle in or around the vehicle. However, our investigation is ongoing. At this point, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. That'll be something that um, we're waiting on the uh, coroner's report for additional information, but at this point, as I said earlier, we do not suspect foul play. Do you believe she may have fallen or hit her head or anything of that nature? Um, that's certainly one of the scenarios we're looking at as far as whether she hit her head or not, we're not certain of. That'll be something that the, the coroner will, will have additional information on. Yes. Not that, I, not that I am aware of. However, like I said, the, the witness who spoke to us uh, stated that she was running south along the river there close to the dam and her body was located just a, a short distance from that area. Well, the first thing that, that comes to her mind is there was a lot of speculation in, into what occurred. And, um, you know, the bottom line is, um, you know, we've lost a very special person. Um, the information is, that was passed on to me, you know, stories about, about Jackie and, and the wonderful things that uh, she stood for, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a shame, you know. It's my understanding that um, Jackie was the type of person that when there was an animal that was sick and, and dying, 
that she would take, this an, take these animals in, and dogs in particular, and provide them hospice care. You know, she cared that much for animals. So to hear um, someone making the statement that, you know, she was trying to help a lost dog and, and sadly appears that, you know, she lost her, her life doing so, you know, doesn't seem out, out of character for her. But like I said, regardless, it's, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big loss. Well, um, like I said, I can't get into specifics in, in regards to um, um, what, what the autopsy is going to reveal, so we're going to have to wait and hopefully later on today um, get that type of information. Well, it's our, it's our understanding that, you know, especially Friday night, the water was moving at a very swift pace, and that made the, the search for, um, for Jackie even more difficult. Uh, we utilized every resource that we had at our disposal, however, um, we had to do so using extreme care. So with this low head dam uh, being in that area, um, we can't make any assumptions, but uh, just by looking at how fast the water is moving, that that could be a very dangerous area if someone was to be in the water and then come in contact with the current of the of the dam. Any other questions? Um, as I said earlier, the autopsy is scheduled for later on today, so we um, hope to have additional information from the Bartholomew County Coroner's Office. Um, I'd like to thank um, everyone in the media for helping us get the story out about Jackie, uh, especially, you know, Friday night into Saturday as we were still searching for her. Um, like I said, there's folks all over the country and even all over the world that have seen this story, and um, we appreciate your efforts in, in assisting us in the search. So. I'll uh, be around in the back of the room in case you have any further questions off camera. Like I said, we appreciate you coming out uh, today. Thank you very much.